Hi guys, this is Nemo Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of how to create a registration and login form using MVC, PHP MVC framework or Code Igniter. In my last video, I, I discuss on how to done validation for my login form. I have done some validations like when a user try to access my application without entering their email and password then it will show them an error or in other words when a registered candidate try to access uh, try to access to my application they will get these errors so, and when a registered candidates try to access to my application then i should take them to uh, to my home controller that is I, I should have to i should take them inside my application so this functionality will be achieving or will be uh, uh, performing in this video tutorial so to do that just we have to go to our controller and here we need to create one model to get the data from the database uh, with this we have to create a model like auth user where i will be taking the parameter or the values that is been entered from here i need to take those values username and password here in my model and then i need to match those username and password with my database i need to check whether those username and passwords are present or um, exist in my database if they are present or if the user is already registered to my application then i should take them inside my inside my home controller or inside my application if i didn't find any records related to the entered username and password then i should show them a message or error message saying that we haven't registered yet so please register first and then try to log in so uh, so first we have to create one function function okay here i need to pass two parameters exactly similar to this copy and paste it here okay now i need to write on a query to select the data from the database to to select a query query i just have to go to our table of contents from where you just need to click on database and then click on active record and from then click on selecting data and we will get this query here I just copy it and paste it here. I don't want this limit and offset. And here in this array, we have to pass the username and password. Username and these values must be matched with the values that are stored in our uh, in our database. Database user values and these values must be the same. Username and Okay, paste it here and now we have to return the data. Query row. Here I'll be returning the row that has been matched. If the if I found the record in my database then I should return that particular record, that particular row from the database and with this statement that particular row or the data will be sended out to controller or in other words it will return some value or it will return the data to my controller if that record found. Now here we need to call that model. inside that model yes. and the function is this one copy and paste it here ok here we need to check whether this function is returning any value or not or whatever values will be returning from this function we need to store that into our one variable okay suppose here here we are 
fetching user user id username and password so it will be returning user id of that particular user and username and password and then we will um, we will get those data here i will just i want a username here for the user id okay it will return a user id this function will return the user id here before that i will just need to write down our username field this input post username I am saying actually I am um, taking the values that is been entered into the um, into these two text fields whenever a user entered the username and password here in this form those values will be collected and stored inside these variables with the help of this statement okay? and the um, and this complete statement uses this value username and password this which is been given here okay this username field and this username and password field must be same here you can see username and password these two fields or uh, alphabets must be matched with these values then only it will take the value from the form and store inside this here and uh, after storing the values inside these two variables i am passing these two variables inside this function and and once the values has been passed inside the model function then it will call this function here this function in the model and the appropriate data will get selected with the help of this query this query when these two fields fields are passes to here okay? i hope you understood the flow guys whenever a user enter username and password from this form these two values that is username and password will be stored inside this variable username and password with the help of these statements okay once the values stored inside these two variables then we have to pass these variables inside the model functions model function this is the model this is our model function which you can see here auth user once we pass the values once we pass the collected values in the model function then it will call this function and the both the values or username and password values will be passed inside this array and appropriate data will be fetched from will be fetched from the database and return to us here okay return to us here we are getting values here user id okay now we just need to check here if, if we get the user id Paste it. If we got any value or if we get the user ID, then we should take the user to the home page. Else, else we should take them to our login page. Return. Redirect login. So here we have uh, done our code. Here we have called uh, our model, uh, which is uh, sending data to us, sending the user ID and other related data to us with the help of this query and we are checking if we found the user id then we are taking that user to the home page before that uh, here also i need to set the user id and username that has been sent from this query after after the validation or after the checking for the data in the database um, i need to pass those values inside our session i will do that just 
uh, after this once I once I check out here once I see uh, uh, showing error and enter the right password now it should check whether these values are present in our database or not let us see login ok yes I am in home ok then suppose watch watch ok it's working guys ok whenever I enter the username and password that has been already registered to this application then it's taking me inside my application and whenever I tr uh, try to access to this application um, after entering a wrong username and password which, has, which are not registered ones then it's taking me again to this page okay. so now I need to store the user id and the username inside the session setting my user id into this variable as okay just make it as login id okay. or using candidate so let us make it as candidate id and then username setting the username uh, whoever is trying to log in to the system with their username and password I'm using that username to set into the session now ok now let us see ok we are done and now we are inside home we have to call our session variable to include Here we need to pass the same user key as username or let us say user okay. user and just try to it out just type in user ok ok now let us try it once again and enter the password ok now it is showing me the person who is a uh, name of the person who is getting logged into my system ok um, let us go back again Again, because I have saved add uh, my username into my session and I am calling that username 
with the help of session when I came inside my application. Okay, now. Now we have set our session ID and username and we are taking them to our home page. Okay guys, I hope you have understood uh, the process, how it works and what we have to do in order to uh, create a login page. I hope you have understood something out of it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video where I will be. Uh, I will be continuing from here. I will be showing um, an error message uh, when I found any person who has not registered then I will show them you are not registered one please register first and then come to login so I will try to show all those errors in my next video so don't go anywhere uh, okay guys I will see you in my next video bye